Hi, Aquarius. It's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, um, what we have coming up, how you are um, coming up is the heart guardian. Okay, so it says, love and let yourself be loved. So easier said than done, right? So some of you may have suffered heartbreak, heartache, just some real turbulent times where you're just not open to love. It's hard for you to even accept gifts or especially from friends or loved ones. Um, it seems as if you've always been the one that was giving. Uh, and it, this is not for every Aquarius. You could be on the other side of the equation, but it's just hard for you to accept love. And it might even be coming from a place of how you see yourself, how you love yourself or a lack of love for self. Not saying that you don't care for self. You don't take care of yourself. You don't look good. You don't take time on yourself, but all the love and care that you give to each and every person, do you really turn, return it to yourself? What you would do and go out of your way for someone else, would you do that for yourself? When this card comes up, it, it's saying that you need to pray to your God, whatever, whomever that is, and ask for healing of the heart, heart chakra, heart, whatever it is you, you subscribe to. But um, it says that, Right now, um, the heart guardian is an angelic energy, an angelic presence um, that can help you with protection and, you know, guidance in terms of opening your heart, you know, protecting your heart from those who come to destroy, come to take, come, come to uh, not give, not to reciprocate. Um, it says that this angel is essential, you know with helping with relationships, whether they're family with yourself or even a romantic partner. Um, this angel or this angelic presence comes to help you see beyond limiting ideas, fears, okay? Fear of really allowing yourself to be open to something, allowing yourself to be loved and maybe even give love. Um, you, some of you may even feel like love is a losing game. Therefore, you don't play it. It's just not what you want to do. It's just not where you feel comfortable. You don't have a lot of knowledge of self and maybe even of picking the right person. I don't know if you choose out of potential, uh, if you choose out of uh, a place of maybe even feeling empathy or sympathy or sorry for you might have to change your focus, your perspective um, in terms of choosing loved ones, whether it be romantic, friends, or so forth. Just know that you are loved, Aquarius. There are people who genuinely, genuinely love you and you genuinely love them. Just continue to reciprocate those who are new in your life. Keep in mind that um, nothing is yet set in stone. A mutable moon. So some of you could have a mutable moon. The mutable signs are Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces. Okay. Um, so it says that you're going to have to go with the flow, roll with the punches here. Um, it says that some of you are kind of meandering, just kind of feeling your way towards your goals. You may have even been distracted. Maybe somebody's pulling on your heartstrings and maybe it's distracting you from the goal of this could even be someone coming in, you know, under false pretense, false narrative, you know, saying that they want what you want. They're willing to do what you want to do. And it's just to take you off course. So you're going to have to really rest in your intuition and meditation and be close to spirit so you can hear from spirit and get that guidance, right? About who you need to open your heart to. Yeah, because it says in this card, some of you could be being led astray, okay? Um, it also says here in the, in the adverse, stay with it, whatever it means to you. So if 
you have engaged, embarked in a new, embarked in on, on a new relationship, new friendship, whatever it may be, stay with it. It's still mutable. It's still changing. Go with the flow. Roll with the punches. It's mutable. So that means it's changeable. So it could all fall apart. It can all be great. It's really up to you. Um, it says, don't wait here for other people to come in to save the day or take the next step or take the lead. You do it. It's up to you. If you want this, if you want this person, if you want this job, if you want this or that, you go after it. You make it happen here, Aquarius. That's what the cards are saying here. Um, it says, um, don't wait for someone. Um, yeah, don't wait for someone else to rush in and take charge. Um, Take a proactive approach to maybe um, solving any challenges and, and stand in your power. Back to um, don't give up, you know, don't give up on, uh, stay with it, you know, whatever it is. We then have family room for the future energy, Aquarius. This talks about the place you call home, like your true home. And, and this could be some synonymous with your heart too. Some of you have not really let people into your heart. You're not trusting. It's about trying to open up and let people into your heart space, maybe into your home space. Some of you have not had your own home space for a while. You're coming into getting your own space now. And now you, you feel like you could be open to getting to know more people, to allowing them to see another side of you, for them to feel closer to you now. Um, that's going to be for a few of you. And then, uh, for some of you, it's more so not being able to really allow that vulnerability, that closeness to happen. Cause all this hurt that happened back in the past. And that's why you are the heart guardian. So it's just like, um, right now, Aquarius, you're, you're in a place of really healing your heart. I, I suggest my suggestion is to listen to some heart chakra, um, uh, vibration, music, do some heart chakra ritual just to open it, you know, just so you can let your prayer be just that heart healing, whatever you, whoever you pray to, whatever your God is, help ask that your God help you heal your heart. If you feel like this reading resonates with you. All right, let's pull some Tarot and see what the Tarot has to say for Aquarius. All right. What is the advice for Aquarius? Okay, first card, Ten of Wands. Yeah, the tough time is over. You can let it go, Aquarius. I think you're coming out renewed, a renewed sense of you. Um, this tough time of just being in a very turbulent relationship, maybe learning lesson, karmic lesson here, showing up for situation, relationship, job, family dynamic, where you just didn't know where it was going, where you were be take, where you were being taken for granted, where you were the scapegoat, you were the person that they talked about that they disowned discredited it's over that tough time is over aquarius you don't have to be on autopilot anymore because there is a renewed sense of self coming for you whoa page of wands these cards if you want to study the tarot and you can study the tarot with me classes are linked below but the ten of wands these cards uh, go in order so in how a quarant you come into the reading if it were you know um if it were your life were you know uh, exactly how the cards or are in order then it would be the ten of wands and then the page of wands and then it would be the ace of wands um it says renewed sense of self this is so crazy okay so it's like you've been through turbulent troubled times now you get to Rest easy. Maybe even live life on your own terms. Do your work on your own terms. Um, you get to explore. You get to have fun. It says exploration and fun, excitement. Maybe a new start to a job, business, just life in general. It could be the renewing of a relationship. It could be that you guys hop in the sack real quick. It says ground that energy though so that it can stay around. Um, so they can stick around, you know, just fizzle out with the page of wands, but it's all things good in the page of wands here. Uh, one more card for Aquarius. All right. Wow. Strength card holding back. Yeah. 
learning compassion, um, learning how to express your emotions accurately, um, learning to not have outbursts, but to temper yourself. Um, don't be driven by lust. Lust is not always in terms of sex and sexuality, but the lust and the, and the desire of just being so fiery and passionate in how you want to express yourself is not conducive to long-term relationships. So you have to learn how to express yourself, Aquarius, so that you can have longevity in relationships. Uh, you need to learn how to temper your emotions. The strength card because some of you could be dealing with a leo if you are not it's okay um it also talks about some of you could be dating someone new it talks about theater going to the you know the theater uh or theater however you pronounce that uh dating going out romantic dates uh dinner dates um some of you could be engaging in that also with the page of wands it talks about entering the dating market again. I think some of you are going to feel like, okay, it's now time with the family room. It's now time to let people into your heart space. It's time to put yourself back out there with the strength card here. Um, you're ready to govern yourself accordingly um, because you're going to be guarded and protected by that heart guardian. I think this is the most absolutely beautiful reading. It was clear. It was concisive. It went through it's just about Aquarius being confident enough to put themselves out there knowing that they're going to make the right choices because they're connected to something much higher than themselves. You don't have to trust and lean on your own understanding, but you can lean on your God, your God's understanding here. I think it's a beautiful thing. Aquarius, if you want to get your own personal reading, you can go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. If this reading blessed you in any way, uh, pour back into the reading. Uh, let it bless, let it, um, as it bless you, bless me, bless the, the channel, um, if you feel the move to do so. Uh, the link is below. It says Buy Ella Coffee. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.